So I think we've under-enforced in merger control over the last 20 years, particularly in tech, but not only in tech. And I think there's two reasons for that. One is that we've underestimated the importance of innovation concerns and have focused too much on short-run static price effects. And secondly, we've allowed ourselves to become paralyzed by indecision in the face of uncertainty. So innovation concerns, well, innovation is what drives economic growth, so that's what merger control should be most concerned about. But the problem of innovation is it's inherently uncertain. So it's very difficult for merger control authority to know what is going to happen over the next five to ten years in the innovation space. And that has tended to lead competition authority to say, this is all too uncertain, this is all too difficult, so we'll clear the merger. That, that's our default position. And of course, that's the wrong default position. We have a test, which is, are we more than 50% sure that this merger is anti-competitive or Equivalently, are we more than 50% sure this merger is benign? We have to make that decision. We can't just say it's all too difficult and too uncertain. And I think there's a recognition across competition agencies that we have to accept that uncertainty and make decisions under uncertainty more often now. And certainly in the UK, that is what we've done over the last few years. More specifically within the tech sector, I think that we have been under-concerned about ecosystem theories of harm and are now beginning to accept that actually ecosystems theories of harm may be genuine theories of harm that we need to take seriously, particularly where they have the effect of increasing barriers to entry to new entrants, particularly new entrants with disruptive technologies coming into, into a market. So that's another area where I think we've under-enforced. And then finally, this is not so much about under-enforcement, but just about the difficulty of enforcement. In the tech area, uh, privacy is clearly a important concern for consumers. It's a concern that competition policy has historically really not taken into account, but we are going to have to. And privacy concerns can sometimes be in tension with competition concerns. You know, we might often want lots of data because data can drive competition, but equally that might be damaging for privacy. So that's just a, a difficult area that competition authorities are going to have to worry about over the next few years. Thank you.